there's no exploratorium in most neighborhoods. Yo, who got the game and play the game? You wanna learn the game? Necessity is still the mother of invention in Newark, New Jersey. Here, play is too often an afterthought. The harder life gets, the harder it is to be playful. 20 years ago, the All-Stars Network was set up to address this problem. It's a talent show that recruits kids from ages 5 to 25 in cities from coast to coast. The idea was dreamed up by Dr. Fred Newman, a psychologist from New York. The concept was fairly simple. The use of play to help people to grow and to further uh, evolve a sense of, of self-esteem. In the case of the All-Stars, play means performance. This is grassroots show business. What makes the All-Stars unique is that no one is turned away. Today, the All-Stars are holding auditions in Newark. Hundreds of people have turned out. One of the things that this is all about is about performance. Pam Lewis has been the national producer of the All-Stars for 10 years. You perform on the stage, that you have to learn how to perform in your life every day. Over the last 10 years, we've been creating um, all-star shows where, for example, at the auditions, you know, you have like maybe 300 young people show up and they all make it. You know, everyone gets to be in a show. The young people are running the sound and the lights and they're stage managing. The, the all-stars talent show network is run by young people. And that's quite extraordinary. I myself, I've been in all-stars for 10 years. I've been a dancer, I've been a rapper, and now I'm the MC. So without further ado, I want to kick this audition off. Give it up for the Dynamite Steppers! For some young people, the first time they ever find out about the All-Stars is at a show, when they've come to see their cousin or a friend of theirs perform. But the majority of young people, you know, first meet the All-Stars when they come to an audition. It's real cool. It's theirs. It belongs to them. They created, I think it has a lot of the positive qualities uh, that in some ways are replicated negatively in, 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 in gang situations, but it's very positive. It's, it's, it's filled with um, a sense of belonging, of creating something, of being hip, of being... And, and that's great, because that's, that's what we all want. I mean, everyone, everyone wants to be cool. Lenny Moore is a sound engineer for the All-Stars. He grew up in the Bedford-Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn where the easiest way to be cool was to join a gang. A lot of us, in, in, you know, in neighborhoods like that, really have to find something to get involved with, and I guess that's the only thing we had. All right, cool. So you're ready for the next act? Like many of the young people who've come to the auditions, play wasn't a big part of Lenny's life. Like around uh, 85, 86, my father, he made some mistakes, and he had to, he had to go away to prison, so. At the time, my stepmother was around, and my, my, my maternal mother wasn't around. She kind of left us earlier, and uh, so it was just hard. A lot of decisions I had to make was without my father being around. Lenny is a father himself now and lives with his family in Canarsie, Brooklyn. Their home doubles as a recording studio because, in addition to his work with the All-Stars, Lenny also produces several rappers, including his younger brother, Randy. Like most brothers, they've shared a lot over the years. We did a lot of crazy things. We got yeah, peer pressure. It got to us, too. And what happened was is, uh, I got involved with a lot of bad things, chose the wrong parties to hang out with. I was right around the time where I noticed that my brother started making the choices the same exact to mine, the same pattern of choices I was making. And I noticed that he was looking up to me. And I was kind of, he was using my guidance as his way of getting through the same situation. And um, it kind of hit me like a slap in the face. It was like, I got to find something else, or my brother is going to be in the same situation as I am. It was only by chance that Lenny dropped into an All Stars talent show in his neighborhood. I remember the date, October 23rd, 1993. <laughs> that was the day the show. It was a Saturday, like 3 o'clock. I couldn't believe it. That day was the beginning of a dramatic turnaround. His All-Stars experience has changed Lenny's perceptions about who he is and what he can do. 
he sees the All-Stars approach to play as a key factor. At first, when I was younger, I thought play was uh, having fun, a play like in stage play. But now I see play as a, as a tool in life, like uh, playing a role at work or playing a role as a father or a responsible adult, playing a role as a, as a civilized human being. And Lenny always talks about how being in the All-Stars really built up his self-esteem. He even said to me, he said, you know, I had no self-esteem before I met the All-Stars. Three weeks after the auditions, it's showtime in Newark. A whole new group of kids are getting their chance to shine. Performing on stage means everything to these kids. It's, it's, it means everything. It's kind of what they have. Like a lot of them, they may not have the right tennis shoes, they may not have the right clothes that everybody else has. You know, they might not even be doing all that well in school, or they might not have both their parents, or there may be all kinds of stuff going on at home, but they can get on stage and they can dance. And that's what they have, performance. And that's also what we human beings have. That's what we do. You get a plug for everything you do. You get a plug for walking up, walking out, getting off the stage the right way. Like, oh, the exit stage left. You exit stage left. Oh, nice performance. <laughs> it's like, I just want them to start to see the world differently, like I have. And now a real big round of applause for all of the young people who performed today. That's right, you guys did a great job. Performance can be one of the most rewarding kinds of play. For these kids, the rewards may include even more than trophies and applause. As they say in the All-Stars, if you can perform on the stage, you can perform in life. Thank you. 